My Little Sugars made itself into a number of my videos, whether it's phone holders or whether it's cleaning gunk off the dashboard, hauling away my old mattress, or even redoing the front headlights. Today, we're going to be looking at another product that's going to involve the Subaru, and it's called Shine Armor. This stuff is supposed to make your car shine like new. I have a 10-year-old Subaru. Let's hope so. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. My channel is dedicated to reviewing mostly as seen on TV items. I look at some consumer gadgets, other household items. Once in a while, I do a little bit of a DIY just because I like to. If that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click the bell below so you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. Now, let's take a closer look at Shine Armor. I actually was in the As Seen on TV aisle because I was going to go get some more of the headlight restore because it's been about a year since I did it and they started to oxidize again and I, I found this bottle of Shine Armor. Now, I'm not the most attentive car owner, but I'm also not the most neglectful. Um, I will say I get the car washed in a, in a car wash probably once a month and because it's once a month I opt for the $12 wash. So what I've done here is I've taken off the cap and if you smell this stuff it smells like grape Kool-Aid so make sure you do not drink it. Um, anyway so I'm just screwing on the top here. There is a safety button if you can see it right here it says on or off so you push it one way or the other. Um, they, they did include two microfiber cloths because you're supposed to use one for wet and one for dry. I actually have my own set of cloths. They're the exact same. They're just a different color. I'm going to use the purple to wash off and it's like a grayish color um, when I spray it on there to when I spray it on. So let's get started. I do have this car divided into two. I'm going to treat this side and leave that side untreated. We're going to do the water test because everyone loves the water test and then I'll eventually do the whole car. So they tell us we're only supposed to work in like um, three foot by three foot sections. And so what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to just do this little bit of an area here. I do have the taped off line because I do want to do the water um, test. And to be honest with you, it may rain soon, so the rain might show us the test. But um, the test to see if this paint is in fact, or this paint, I'm sorry, is in fact cleaner than that one. So what we're going to do first is I have this folded up into quarters. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray a nice, healthy amount of this on there. Because this is how I'm going to apply it to the car. I'm also going to spray it here on the car. So let's just start here in this corner that we can see. I like to spray a lot. Oops, I hit the off button. All right, so now... What I'm going to do is just really just wipe it in. I know this is smaller than three foot by three foot, but I wanted to take my time. If there's any bugs, I want to make sure I, I wash them out. I come over, and then it's not that hot of a day out today, but they say move relatively quickly because you don't want this to haze. So now I'm going to take my dry purple microfiber cloth and just wipe it clean. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do this to the rest of this side and then I'll do a head-to-head -head comparison of the two. So do you see the difference between the side over here which was treated and the side over here which has not yet been treated? A lot of people like to do what's called the bottle test which I think is funny but they want to show you how slick the paint actually is so they'll just set the bottle on. And it moved a little didn't it? Now let's move it to the other side. It just slid right off. Now I'm going to clean this other side. Actually, first, let's do the water test. All right, so remember, this side of the car over here has been treated with the Shine Armor. This side has not. We're going to spray some water on from a hose, the whole thing. We're going to see if it sheets off, if it bubbles. What does it do on the paint? Let's do that now. All right, so they're both running off, but as you see here, there's big spots over here that haven't come off, and on this side, it's, it's coming off pretty easily. I'm actually excited to try this on my windshield because when I drive in the rain, I like it when the rain just goes right off. Let's keep spraying it.
Yeah, so there it goes again. Still coming off in streams like it's supposed to. And this is one big flat sheet, or it's not coming off as fast. I'll be interested to see how long it lasts. Um, as of right now, though, it is cleaned. And so that was really the goal. So now what I'm going to do is dry this off and do this side as well. What are your thoughts of these waterless car washes? Do these even make any sense to you? Have you used one of these, either this one or another one? Um, let me know down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. Would you rather use this or just take your car through a car wash? Let me know. It took me about five minutes to clean the entire hood. Right, I ended up redoing that side over here and then I doubled this side just so it looked like it was uniform when I took the tape off. Question is, does this look like brand new paint? I'm gonna say absolutely not. I don't know if you can see there's imperfections all over it, but you know what? It's also 10 year old paint. Now, is it clean? Yes. Is the metal or is this soft or smooth? Yes, but it's definitely not perfect. I do see a lot of imperfection. I will say there was some, you know, bug splatter when you're driving down the road and mainly in the front areas here, and it was able to come off pretty easily. A um, little bit of scrubbing went along, but I was real impressed with that. Same things with the windows here. Um, I will say at the beginning, I kind of liked the way this bottle was, but now I don't because as I'm squeezing, I'll hit the off button and that's frustrating. Sometimes I'll turn it and it'll unscrew. So that's kind of thing is just frustrating, but let's just get the, see, I just hit the off button. All right, let's squirt the window. Now I'm gonna finish the rest of it and we'll shoot some water on it. I'm pretty impressed how clean the windshield came out. Plus that rain or that water just sheets right off. It's gonna be nice. It's also good for plastics. Makes it look nice and new. So it's been a day since I put on the shine armor. And since then we've actually had a pretty bad rainstorm and it rained for a while. And I think the stuff is holding up pretty well. I'm gonna simulate some rain here with the hose and just show you what I mean. It's still beating up and coming off the car like it's supposed to. So that kind of stuff, I'm, I'm actually impressed with how it did. Uh, I did put two coats on in a sense, right? So I probably put more on than you're supposed to, but I do like the end results. We've been looking at an ad seen on TV product called Shine Armor. And look, after one use, that's all I have left. This bottle was full. I used a lot. Now, it took me about 30 minutes to go from the front of my car all the way to the back of my car, applying the shine armor. Now I may have put more on than you're supposed to, but then one, I like to go overboard, and two, I wanted to really make sure it got into the paint. And you saw what, what happened even after a terrible thunderstorm, and I rinsed it and rinsed it and rinsed it, it was still beating up and coming off, and I was really impressed with that. That being said, will I use this on a regular basis? And the answer is no. It's easier for me just to go through a car wash, it only cost me $12, Whereas this thing cost me $20, so it doesn't make that much sense for me. Now, it does work. Maybe I'll keep it in my glove box or keep it in the back in a tote somewhere. If I ever need to do a real quick wash up, sure. Anyway, this was Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by, and I hope you have a great day. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review of Shine Armor. And yeah, it really did work. Pretty impressive stuff. In this video, I reference my headlight repair kit that I did a while ago. What I'm going to do is I'm going to link that video right up here. Make sure that you're logged into YouTube so you can see this rectangle pop up and I don't look like a crazy person. And I would love it if you would click that link. By the magic of the internet, I'm going to join you when you click it right here. Go ahead, click it. It's safe. 
I promise. See you there.